believe this job was born into my blood from a family history of law enforcement. I learned through my ancestry that my uh, great-great-grandfather was a Baton Rouge City police officer. And it's a job that you cannot, you cannot take for granted. It'll, it'll, it can take over you. It's not your nine to five job where you walk out of your house beyond your little white picket fence and do not know what evil goes on every day. You have to pretty much become numb. I mean, I, I almost compare it to me having a little small filing cabinet or a file drawer in the back of my mind. And at the end of the day, when you go back home, you've got to file that away, and you can't go home and let that wear on you. You can't let the emotions affect your family, and you can't let it affect your health. If I didn't turn it off, I'd probably become one of those statistics that I was trained about law enforcement officers becoming. A high divorce rate, alcohol, suicide rate. If I didn't turn it off, I'd probably end up as a statistic. It's a pain in the ass to work in Louisiana and work murders. The swamps, the bugs, the predators, the animals. I mean, it's, you've got so many different persons in urban environments and big cities that could have possibly been a potential witness and saw it from their fire escape and every so forth. You know, it's tough to solve a murder in Louisiana. When you step out the door and you go fight real crime, welcome to the big leagues. <laughs>